In the wake of the anti-Israel college protests happening across the nation, the Zionist Organization of America is holding a values rally for Israel in New York City. This all comes as President Biden continues to withhold weapons for Israel, citing Netanyahu's plan to go ahead with heading into Rafah in order to eliminate Hamas's last four battalions. Here to talk about all this further is the president of the Zionist Organization of America, Mort Klein. Thank you for joining us. Good to be with you, Stephanie. Again, this rally will be held tonight in New York City starting at 5.30 p.m. Tell us more about the upcoming event. Uh, this rally is going to be <clears throat> on between 41st and 42nd Street on Broadway, right off of Times Square. We have Alan Dershowitz speaking. We have uh, Rabbi Shmuley Botel speaking. We have other political people coming to speak. And we have two bands. So we're going to celebrate Israel with singing and dancing, as well as uh, talking about uh, the outrageous p policies of this administration uh, toward Israel. <laughs> and we shouldn't be shocked because President Biden has given Iran $26 billion in the last few years. He's ignored sanctions, which allowed Iran to earn 50 to 100 billion more. With this money, Iran has funded Hamas and Hezbollah and other terrorist groups. If Biden had not funded Iran, this tar on October 7th wouldn't have happened. We blame the policies of, uh, of uh, Joe Biden for what has happened. And we're going to talk about that at tonight's rally at 5.30 right over Times Square uh, with really great speakers and great music. We're going to celebrate uh, the small, one small, tiny Jewish country in the world. There are 22 Arab countries in the world. There's over 50 Muslim countries in the world. Why can't there be one tiny Jewish country in the world smaller than the state of New Jersey? I want to go back to what you said about Biden and his administration, because as we know, they continue to reiterate their stance that they will withhold weapons for Israel if they go into Rafah. Many Republicans believe this is political and that, and that this is a way of him trying to gain the uncommitted vote because they don't like how he hasn't called for a ceasefire. What do you make of this? Do you believe that this is to help uh, him in the upcoming election? No, I don't believe it's political because he's going to lose as many votes as he thinks he might gain. <laughs> and he has been hostile to Israel since day one of his administration. As I said, he's funded Iran, ignored uh, sanctions on Iran. He's funded the terrorist Palestinian authorities, given them $800 million of our monies. He's funded UNRWA, a vile educational system that teaches Arabs to hate and, and, and murder Jews, frankly. Uh, he's given them $600 million. Every single person that he has appointed that affects Israel is someone who's hostile to Israel. So this is nothing new. Uh, uh, and, uh, and I do not believe this is uh, political. I believe this is his belief system. He is strengthening Iran uh, in order to harm Israel. And he's been bad toward Israel his entire career. I've lobbied him 25, 30 times uh, in the last uh, several decades. He's always been hostile. This is nothing new. And I want to talk about tonight's rally because one of those who will be in attendance is the father of Shani Luke, where we saw Hamas terrorists parade her body around the back of a truck. Those images are seared into all of our minds and just encapsulates the, the atrocities of the October 7th terrorist attacks, showcasing Hamas's brutalities. What does it mean to have her father at your event? <laughs> We want to bring and make it more clear that this really happened, this nightmare of murdering 1,200 Jews, maiming 5,000 more, kidnapping 250 Jews, really, really happened. Hamas's charter, Article 7, calls for the murder of every Jew in the world, and Article 13 calls for Israel's destruction. This is their goal. And let me make one thing clear to our non-Jewish friends. Mahmoud al-Zahar, the co-founder of Hamas, said one month ago on the internet, first we're going to kill all the Jews, but I want everyone to understand, next we're going to kill all the despicable Christians and set up an Islamic caliphate throughout the world. So we are all in this together. This is hatred toward non-Muslims uh, by radical Muslims. And that is why what Biden is doing uh, by defending Hamas, protecting Hamas, is a true uh, outrage. If he doesn't let Israel destroy Hamas, and Israel will not listen to him. They will work to destroy Hamas. If, but if that wouldn't happen, within three to five months, Hamas would, be, would regroup. And the leader of Hamas said only a week ago, 
we're going to have 10,000 more October 7s. So that's why we're bringing the father of one of the victims to make it clear this really happened and we have to fight to make sure this never happens again and to make sure this doesn't happen in our country of the United States of America. But when you have kids on campuses screaming, we are Hamas, they're really screaming, we are Nazis, we are the Ku Klux Klan, we want to murder and rape. It is just frightening. And Biden has not condemned these people in any explicit way. He's not demanded they be expelled from school. He's not born in the National Guard. He has really been, uh, uh, just hasn't done what needs to be done to protect the American people. Which brings me to my next point, because again, we're seeing this anti-Semitism across college campuses all over the nation, even leading to the cancellation of commencement ceremonies. How is a Zionist organization of America, how are they trying to spread their message and combat the rise of anti-Semitism? Well, of course, we're having uh, this rally tonight. I've been on TV and radio as much as I can possibly be. I've been lecturing all over the world to make it clear that our public officials, especially our president, because he has the biggest podium, he should be specifically condemning uh, uh, these people and condemning what they say. He should say, how dare you say Intifada revolution, which means kill all the Jews. How dare you say we're all Hamas. Uh, he should be uh, uh, demanding that these students are punished in a serious way. If they had expelled these students from day one, if they brought a National Guard, this would have been stopped overnight. And President Biden could have helped make this happen. And he was derelict in his duty. And by the way, when he made a speech on anti-Semitism, he made a three minute speech. It wasn't until this third minute that he mentioned anti-Semitism. And then he immediately diluted it by condemning Islamophobia and uh, homophobia. And, you know, you know, this is not a time for that. What's happening now on the campuses has nothing to do with those issues. Uh, it only has to do with Jew hatred and violence against Jews and destroying the Jewish state. I am deeply ashamed of President Joe Biden not protecting the American people, and in this case, the American Jewish people. Yeah, and even going back to that speech that you were talking about, a lot of people thought, oh, this is the time because they were previous unscheduled remarks. People were waiting to hear what he had to say. And as you mentioned, it was he was just towing the line. He didn't even outright condemn what's happening, and he didn't even take reporters' questions. But again, where can our viewers go to learn more about tonight's rally and your organization? Please go to zoa.org, zoa.org. We put out material almost every day. Show up on 41st Street off of Broadway today at 5.30. We welcome all of you. Show your support. And, and as the leader of Hamas said, uh, first the Saturday people, next the Sunday people. We are all in this together. And we have to, I'm urging everyone to write to their members of Congress, their senators, and urging them to stop Biden's insanity toward trying to create a Palestinian terror state. Who will run this state? Hamas, Hezbollah, Iran, Abbas, all terrorists. This is one of the horrific policies of Joe Biden, wanting to create another terrorist state, which will be the same as Gaza where you have Hamas uh, and will only endanger uh, uh, the, the Jewish state of Israel even more and will also make it less likely that other Arab states will want to make peace with Israel when they see America abandoning Israel and they will align themselves more with Iran. We urge people to tell their members of Congress for Joe Biden to change his policies to a rational, sane, humane policy and not a policy that embraces Iran and, and defends Hamas terrorist groups. Absolutely well said. Again, Mort Klein, the president of the Zionist Organization of America. Thank you so much again for your time. Thank you, Stephanie. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.